Hey, what's up? It's Erin here. So, how's it going, everyone? It's kind of hard, huh? It's hard being positive and upbeat and living your life with positivity. But we can all do it. And I'm like living proof that it's possible. <laughs> I've been through so much in my life. And I live with happiness. You know, there's times when it's hard to like get out of bed or think positive thoughts. But let me give you a couple tips today to help you along. Um, something that I have to keep reminding myself and taking into action is just try when you notice that you're in some kind of mood that's not productive um like say you don't want to get up in the morning you don't want to get out of bed your your mind is just racing with thoughts um try to talk to yourself try to try to give yourself advice so like for instance um you're laying in bed in the morning and you know that you need to get up and go and start your day, that you have so much to do. And that's kind of what your mind is telling you. Your mind is saying, oh, you have so much to do. Like, what should you do first? And your mind is just racing with all of these things that you need to do. So you can talk back to yourself and say, okay, so I know that I have a lot of things to do, but I need to start going. I need to get up and what I'm going to do is just start doing. Stop thinking and start doing. Because while I'm doing, I will still be thinking. Okay, this really works. Because you can't get stuck in your in your head and think too much. It's it's too overwhelming because all of us have so much going on in our lives. Whether we have kids, spouses, parents, siblings, coworkers, um, a lot a lot of stressors have to do with people, but you know, we have our pets, we have, I don't have pets, but a lot of people have pets, a lot of people have, you know, their homes to take care of, they have their car to take care of, they have their clothing to clean and dishes and cooking and everything, right? So we can't think. It's it's too hard. It's too overwhelming. We can't just sit in bed and think because we'll be there forever, right? And we'll never get anything done. So take this advice. Get up. What I what I have been doing is for a long time now is making my bed. That's the first thing I need to do. So while I'm getting up and my mind is starting to process, well, this is probably after I go to the bathroom and brush my teeth, but um, make your bed and you're gonna be thinking as you're doing these things. Your mind is just gonna be all over the place thinking, right? And, you know, then maybe go brush your teeth or if you haven't already, and then, you know, take a shower, do your hair, your makeup, whatever your, you know, get dressed. And that's a long period of time where your brain can be processing and thinking, and you don't need to to force it. No, you're not forcing it at all. You're just letting your mind process and letting it flow. So 
just take care of what you need to do to start your day. And you will start to feel more refreshed and alive and capable. And you'll start to feel good about yourself. Um, if you don't, there might be some deeper issues that you need to work on. One of them could be, um, say, you don't like the way you look in the mirror or, you know, there's something about yourself that you don't like, that you're focusing on that is a negative thought. What you can do is train your brain because your brain is such a transformative um uh object or i don't know a uh, membrane uh, i was gonna say membrane i was gonna say all these weird words but i guess membrane right we'll just say membrane so it can transform your body and change your cells i know this sounds really weird but there's there's scientific research and a lot of uh people believe in this, that if you say negative things about yourself, you're putting it into your brain, you're programming it into your brain, you're telling yourself that every single day. And your brain is going to do what you say. And so it's going to make that thing that you don't like even more dominant and worse and worse and worse. Like, let's say you go in the mirror and you say, oh, I look so old, you know, and I have so many wrinkles. And so your brain is going to say, okay, you're old and you have wrinkles. So it's going to give you look, make you look older and make you give you more wrinkles. So just test this theory out. Um, I've tested it out and it's like amazing. So what you do, sorry, I'm gonna throw something away. What you do is you change it. So that thing that you don't like about yourself, you say the opposite. So when you go in the mirror, you say, Oh my God, every day I'm getting younger and younger looking and I don't see any wrinkles. So even if you do, you don't tell your brain that it's a secret. Okay. So you telling your brain that you don't have wrinkles and you look younger and younger every day and that you know, you feel good and you, you're you so thankful and grateful for your creator for making you so youthful looking at your age, you know? And you just say positive things to yourself. So you could say, um, you know, if your hair isn't so healthy or something like that, you process your hair, you straighten your hair. You could say, um, you know, oh, my hair is getting healthier and healthier every each and every day, and it's looking better and better, and um, it's growing longer, and um, it's really important too to like try to be as natural as you can. Um, I used to straighten my hair like every day and I like fried it I basically. Um, so I just tried to go with my natural curliness and for a long time, like I didn't, I did not like the way it looked at all, but I tried to just embrace the fact that this is my natural hair texture. This is, it's curly, it's not straight. <laughs> God did not make me with straight hair. So I need to embrace 
my curly hair, okay? Now, God didn't create me with blonde hair. <laughs> I was born with brown hair. Well, it was probably more blonde when I was really young, but um, I just felt like I felt like I was a blonde, like I felt like I needed to be a blonde. So I feel like I need to wear makeup and I need to do my nails and stuff like that. But like there's things that you just know about yourself that you like those are things like you just want to do for yourself and it's not really harming you or you believe it's not going to harm you. So that is just your self-expression and who you are, right? But if something is having a negative effect on you, try to do the opposite. Like try to embrace your, your natural, the natural flow of things um, and see if that can help you and see if that works, right? So... Like there was times when my nails, I kept getting my nails done and my nails would like break or hurt or um, just problems with my nails. And so I would just release it like it's like God telling me you don't need to have your nails done right now. You need to work and you need to. There's a lot of things that you're doing right now where those aren't going to serve you right now. So there's a time and a place for everything. And it's like when you listen to your heart and your inner self, you're getting guidance from your creator and they're telling it's they're telling you what is best for you right now. What where is your path going and you know like right now I'm not having any problems with my nails. I just got them done for my birthday and I feel like, okay, I'm not doing the type of work I was doing before where I couldn't have nails. So maybe, you know, I can do this for a little bit, you know, or like, I don't know. It's kind of like, I'm just following my intuition. It's not like, I'm like, oh, I have to have nails like all the time. Like I'm perfectly fine with not having, just having my natural nails, right? So that's what you have to do. You have to have this like open mind, like have an open mind to, to just go with the flow in life and not like to try to force anything. Just do not try to force anything and just go along with what your guidance is telling you your intuition, right? That's your creator is telling you which direction you need to go. So, um, so when you start out your day, by the time you're done getting dressed and everything, you're going to have so much energy. Um, and then your mind is going to tell you what you need to do next. Now, this is a little bit controversial, but I used to think like, well, we've been told and we've been, you know, this is to, you know, eat breakfast every morning, eat a healthy breakfast, but I'm kind of with the belief that your body will tell you when you're hungry and what to eat, right? So a lot of times like, I've been listening to, because God, your creator, um, sometimes your body needs rest and di your digestive system is something where if it's constantly digesting food, it doesn't have like a space and a time to like heal, especially like your liver. So sometimes you need to just you don't need to like force food. You don't need to like say like, oh, at, right when I wake up, I need to eat. And right, you know, at lunchtime, I need to eat. And at dinner time, I need to eat. And I need to have dessert. And I need to, you know, 
go to, a, I don't know, just like, I go with my friends like every Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and I need to have drinks and like I, and there's these snacks there and I need to eat those. And like you're scheduling yourself where you're, you're not listening to your body. You're just listening to your schedule. And a lot of times like a schedule is interfering with your guidance system in your heart. So I know this is completely controversial and like I've had talks with people about this and this is one of the things that makes me like extremely unique. And maybe I just have, I have the opportunity to do this and other people don't. So don't shoot the messenger, but I, I believe this is a secret to being happy and fulfilled and healthy. Okay. So, you know, listen to yourself and think like, okay, what, you know, you can all like, you can always talk to yourself. That's like talking to God. Okay. Talking to yourself is like talking to your, you're trying to go on your path in life and you need to, if you don't know, because sometimes you'll just know and you'll just go, but sometimes you don't know. And so you have to ask yourself and it's a quick thing. You know, you'd be like, okay, what do I feel like having, or am I hungry right now? Like, what should, what should I do? Right? Well, I don't really say that. I say like, okay, what am I going to do? What, what's next? You know, what am I going to do now? And then my brain will pop up with something. <laughs> Maybe it'll be food. Maybe I'll be thirsty. Maybe I'll go, okay, I'm going to go get some water, you know. Or maybe sometimes I get so caught up into just listening to where my mind is going that I'll end up not eating until like 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm not hungry. And I believe that is something that like my creator is telling me like I don't need to put food into my body right now it needs to heal it needs to just you know heal whatever's going on inside of me and rebuild and then when I'm when I get hungry then I will eat okay so you don't need to force any kind of schedules and rules onto yourself, okay? You need to live stress-free, calm, with no fear, and happy. You need to live at a high vibration, okay? So, so in the morning, like, let's say some, there's a lot of things going on, right? Like, Maybe there's bad things going on. Something that you're really struggling with. Um, and your mind is just going and going and going with these thoughts. And it's kind of, it's weighing you down, right? So what you can do to get out of that and flip the switch. If you can't do it with just your positive thoughts. Um, well, you could try your positive thoughts. You can try like thinking of positive things like, like a solution or the best case outcome for that problem and think, okay, well, it's all going to turn around. It's all going to be better. I just need to give it time and it'll work itself out and it'll all, it'll all work out in my benefit. You can say that no matter what it is. Or you could, if that's not working, you can turn some music on, some happy uplifting music um when it's relationship problems i like to listen to like love songs sometimes there's messages in there that really like like touch your heart and make you like more forgiving or more um hopeful um other people have you know they've written brilliant music um that have great messages um if you don't like the song that's playing, switch the station, change it, you know, 
change it, do it, you know, put something else on. But those are some things that you can do to start your day and make it a good one. And I know with with work, like your job, your job, um, your boss could put you on a schedule, right? And that's perfectly fine. Um, but the things that you can control, um, it, I think it's best to like kind of listen to your heart. So like, let's say you have coffee and a donut every day. Like that's your normal thing. And you're kind of just going on autopilot and you're like, yeah, I have a coffee and a donut every day. You don't really think about it. You go to the store, you always buy the same things. You buy, okay, here's my coffee, here's my donuts. And you're just going on autopilot and you're not really thinking with your heart and your your intuition. You're just like, just not really conscious of what your heart is telling you, right? So maybe the next time you go to the store or the next morning when you wake up, you can be like, what do I, what do I feel like having for food? I know I'm hungry right now and, you know, I always have a donut, but what, what would I, what do I feel like having right now instead of that? Hmm. You might think like, you might progressively get healthier, right? You might be like, okay, well, I haven't had, I, I really like waffles and I haven't had those in a long time. And they're really fast and convenient. I have a toaster, you know, I just put the waffle in the toaster and, you know, and then maybe, you know, I can like, I don't know, like whatever you feel like having on your waffle, like some Nutella or something, I don't know, like maybe to get your sweet tooth. I have no idea, like what, what do you think you would like to have? Maybe some oatmeal, little packets of oatmeal that you just pour, you know, boil some water, pour a little bit of water in it, stir it up and it's good to go. Um, maybe scramble an egg, um, put some avocado on toast, some pepper flakes on it maybe. Um, there's a lot of easy, simple options um, a bagel with cream cheese. I also like to put some apricot jam on it. Um, there's a lot of different alternatives that you can have that are a little healthier. And then, you know, each day you can just kind of like ask yourself, what would I want, you know? And then when you go to the grocery store the next time, you can, maybe you'll pass by the donuts and you'll be like, oh, I don't, yeah, I, I don't really feel like I want those anymore. I feel like I want whatever you were thinking of, like the avocado toast or, you know, the, some other healthier alternative, you know. Um, maybe you just want the coffee. Maybe you want some iced tea. I, I personally don't drink coffee. I never have. I never liked it. But... Um, I like iced tea, so I figured that was like a healthy alternative to drinking like soda or um, other things like hot chocolate or other things that I used to drink. Um, so anyways, um, let's see. So hopefully that will help you get your day started with a positive outlook and a more productive day and a healthier one. So I look forward to talking to you again next time. Peace.